But let's continue Yakuza 5 if you're watching this later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Well, today is going to be story progression. Um, but also, the YouTube recording will be at 4K, so... Because the upgrade has been done. So I guess it's going to be 4K 30, so we'll see how this goes. Because the capture card's not capable of doing 60. I put nutmeg in it. I forgot about the cinnamon, to be honest. Oh, we need to talk to Horie in park. Kitana Harukaja. So shall I go? Nakade Shachonga Matrua. That's not bad. Wait a pen to open a safe? I mean, what do I know about safes? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about safes? 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 マンダさんに直接お詫びしてくるのよ。わかりました。行こう、はるかちゃん。はい。はるか、待って。すぐに部屋メイクを手配するから、次からはある程度自分でできるようにしなさい。すみません。ホリエ、すぐに手配しなさい。I But I guess it's the plot of this is just like Kiryu thought that this was going to be a better life for her but I get the feeling it's just a lot of pressure and this lady, I mean she has signs of being nice but at the same time it's just like super corporate probably looking out for her own interests above all else.思ってなかったら少しでもマシになろうと一生懸命お化粧するはずなの。見た目を少しでも良くしようと努力するものよ。この世界に入った以上はもっと美に貪欲になりなさい。何かおかしい？嬉しいんです。怒られたことは？こん
しっかりやってきなさいはいあのありがとうございましたそれじゃあ蒼天テレビに行こうか先にタクシー拾っとくからそこで待ち合わせしよう僕はタクシー乗り場で待ってる準備ができたら来てねはいわかりましたYeah, I mean, I'm up to date, so. p a r t i e r s o n s waiting for me at the taxi stand. The only thing I will say about this chapter is I'm kind of sad it doesn't have side quests, but I guess if it did, it would be,、um, be weird because there's no combat, it'd be a lot of talking. It's a cool chapter. I just think a little more variety would have gone a long way. Particularly since some of the、uh, the singing things. It's the same thing. Like, I did not see a difference between level one and level two. Even the dialogue is all the same.、Um, minor complaint. But so far, this game has definitely turned into a favorite. It's one of the better ones. I still think I like Zero a little more, but this is a close second. We'll see how I feel at the end of this. Saijima's chapter was great. Okay, off we go then. I forgot to read. Okay, let's find Manda san. Manda san. Ah, the people from Dina Archer. We're terribly sorry about, about earlier today.、Uh, sincerest apologies. Wait, hold it right there. Pardon? Good timing, you two. This is perfect. Huh? Well, we had that famous model. I can't seem to remember her name. Scheduled to go on our game show, but she up and cancelled at the last minute. The studio is in an uproar. But. Here you people come along like a gift from above. What do you say? Think you can take her place, young lady? What? Yes, of course. Haruka's schedule is open for the rest of the day. What do you think, Haruka chan? Can you do it? He said it's some sort of game show. Sure. Yes, of course. I'd love to go on. Great. That's the spirit. Hey, Hayashida. I found a fill in. A fill in? Wait. You're Haruka Sawamura. Wow, how are we lucky? Alright, let me explain how it's going to go. Right this way, if you would. See, the thing is, there's a difference between agreeing to appear on a game show and appearing to appear on a Japanese game show. You know what I mean? <laughs> this could be perfectly normal, or it could be like she has to pop in some massive foam suit and try and walk a tightrope. While the audience throws, like, apples or something at her. Hello, thank you for having me. Have you ever watched the show you're going to be on today? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I haven't. Alright, then let me give you a brief rundown. s o t e n b u r y Love Quiz is a late night quiz show. As the title suggests, the, so the show features trivia questions about s o t e n b u r y And test the contestants' love for the town. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to, like, remember some knowledge from Zero. The questions are all multiple choice.、Um, you hold a sign 
or an X to choose your answer. Wait, a circle's what? I don't get it. I guess we'll see by doing. Hmm. Okay. You're free to do anything you want until the recording starts. Alright, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it seems simple. We'll do it. So, I'm more son. The recording will start soon. Are you ready? Hi. Yes, I'm ready. It seems normal. Sal Morrison, as a first time guest on the show, would you like to say a few words before we begin? Oh, I am. Um, I've never done this before. I'm really nervous, but I'll do my best. Sounds like you should do your best to calm your nerves. Aha. Anyway, let's get started. Okay. X. Okay, that's easy. That's not how it's spelled. There are no parks. False. Yes. This is not bad so far. That's false. It's Dino Chair. Okay. Dino Chair has her lessons on the fourth floor. Okay. There are no arcades. False Sega arcade. Okay, good. The name your T set, yep. There isn't a single karaoke joke, and that false every town has one. There's both a takiyaki false. Nope. Damn. I'm killing it. Alright. What is the famous shit? That one? I wasn't sure. So Denbury's bridge is called um, Iwao Bridge. Yes. Ten out of ten. Look at that. Now, Salamura son, let's see how you did. Perfect score. You got all tests in. Ten questions correct. With all ten questions correct, you win the title of Sotenbori Fanatic and 30,000 yen. I'll take it. <laughs> Damn it. I can't... She says that line so many times. So that's it. Join us next time on Sotenbori Love Check Quiz. I mean, I get it. She says thank you a lot. She's just very polite. But now I can't unhear it every time it pops up. Fantastic job, Haruka-chan. I was a little nervous. Well, it didn't show. You really stood out. Thank you. Anyway, let's go see Manda again. Alright. いいでしょう。今日のことは忘れます。パク社長には昔お世話になったギリもありますしね。ええ、こちらこそ飛んだ失礼を。本当にすみませんでした。ま、この話はもうなしにしましょう。それよりな、はるかちゃん。はい。
そのメイク自分でやった w h a t does everyone keep asking her that? いやこれは社長に<笑>そうですかパクさんがいやあのいまいちですかね Is it gonna say she looks like her? そうやなくてはるかちゃんを見てるとな昔のパクさんを思い出すね、yeah, okay. 昔の社長朝と昼そして夜会うたびにきれいになっていく女この業界におるとな女っちゅうのがつくづく信じられんようになってくるんですわ女は化け続けるってな T セットで決まりやと思っとったがこりゃとんだとんでん返しがあるかもしれんないやなんでもないでほなプリンセスリーグの決勝戦頑張ってやうんなんかいい風が吹いてきたって感じやなこのまま波に乗っていけたらええな Why is she silent? どなかしたなんだか緊張してきましたちょっとちょっと大丈夫やってはるかちゃんやったらクリスティーナもついてるし僕かって社長かってみんなでバックアップするからそうですよね私やってみますそうやでそこなそや僕はこれから事務所戻るけどはるかちゃんはもう直帰したらええわ今日は盛りだくさんやったしねもうヘトヘトやろ I'm just waiting for そしたら this, this is probably like a calm before the storm sort of thing はい Pray your son is right it was quite a day I think I'll hire him and get some sleep. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's any side stories in this chapter. Ah! Ah! I'm just <laughs> knocking everyone about. Do we want to go to a sexy pub prison? What does that even mean? <sighs> Thought it'd be a cinch to find a great place here in Sotenbori, but. There's just too many to choose from. I'd like to try some, but I'm already stuffed. I've seen that guy on TV. I wonder what he's doing here. Oh, oh I'm so full. I think I'm going to throw in the towel. Excuse me, are you alright? Hmm. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. Oh, good. I was wondering, haven't I seen you on TV before? You probably have. Um, Tatsuya. I'm something of a celebrity chef. I can't be bothered doing the Gordon Ramsay voice, but I'm pretty sure that's what I gave him. In the previous game that he appeared in. I'm Haruka Sawamura, so you're the guy who shows people quick and easy recipes, huh? I'm glad you've heard of me. Makes all my hard work worth it. They say kids today don't watch much TV, so I'm always glad to meet ones who do. Actually, I've been on TV too, so I like to watch other shows to see what they're like. Oh, are you a celebrity or something? You could say that. I'm a pop idol, but I'm not very famous. I'm afraid I don't know much about music. I'm more chef than celebrity, you see. I almost didn't recognize you without the chef's uniform. So you're not on the job now? Actually, I sort of am. I'm on this show where we try to help eateries across Japan by coming up with my own version of local dishes. I've been going around trying the local fare in order to come up with a new idea. Oh, so that's why you're so full. You really look like you're in pain. Yeah. It's tough trying to cover so much ground by my lesson. It would be 
It would really help if I had someone who could recommend great places. Hey, what about you, Haruka-chan? Do you know any good places to eat around here? Good places? Yes, I was hoping you'd let me know if you ate anywhere that really served... That served really tasty local fare. I'm hoping that I try. if I try it myself, I'll get some ideas for a new dish. Is anywhere that serves local dishes fine? Anywhere's fine, but since you're underage, let's avoid places that serve alcohol. I'll ask someone else about places like that. Okay, if you all you need is some recommendations, I'd be glad to help. Great, thanks. And don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. I'll give you some advice on making everyday meals yummier and fun. You won't regret this. Oh, sounds great. Can't wait. Well, you know where to find me. Bye. Um, Bishamon Bridge. Alright, well, that's far away from here. Right, her apartment is, is on the right. I mean, man, I don't think I could... I like I like my apartment. It's it's not that big. I do like how it feels cozy sometimes, but this is this is so small, man. It's basically just a room to sleep in and then a kitchen. Alright, on chapter two. Hope lives on. So there'll probably be a lot of text. Hmm, that was a good sleep. Okay, better get to the office for my lessons. Oh, an email from Akari. Long time no see. My dancer friend has been bugging me about having a dance battle for you, Haruka. Would you mind taking her on for me? She said she'll be waiting near a tree on Sodenbori footpath. It's right behind Zubu's Raya. I need busy and probably have better things to do, but I appreciate the help. Okay. Oh, there are side stories now. Yo. Okay. Well, I, I withdraw what I said earlier. I wonder how everyone's doing back home. I miss it. Oh, that's right. Yamaura-san said I have an interview with Okinawa Tourism Magazine. I've been so busy, I nearly forgot. Oh, I got an email. Thanks for the money, Haruka. Don't ever do it, okay? We saw you on TV the other day. All of us at Morning Glory were thrilled. Aw, they're all watching me on TV. That's so nice. It makes me happy, even though it's kind of embarrassing. I better write back. I'm glad to hear from you. Is everything okay back home? Oh, she answered back already. She's getting good at this email thing. Well, uh, thanks, but we're fine. We're as happy as ever. How about you? Want us to send you some Goya? Yeah, yeah, I don't have to worry. Of course, I don't want them to worry about me now. Let's see. No, thanks. I'm good on Goya. Soon I'm going to do an interview for a tourism mag. Maybe you'll all get to read it. That'll get them all excited. Can't wait to see how they react. Come on, Ayako, why are you taking so long to write back? Oh, here we go. Is that interview the one where you answer questions from readers? Make sure you do a good job. Hmm, why is she being so pushy? I'll just tell her, okay, thanks. I'm off to work now. Talk later, love, Haruka. It's a relief to hear everything's alright back home. That last message was weird, though. Uh-oh, it's time for the interview. I better hurry. 
to Boon Simon Outdoor Mall Studio. Okay, well, I'll go around to all the question marks. In before Park hacked the email account. <laughs> <laughs> it's just every email she sends it's not the email account just hack the phone so no matter what no matter what email she sends it just for it just forwards it to park instead intercepts every email she sends wait a minute aren't you pardon it is you i knew it sawamura son right um for your motto surely you've heard of me no, I'm very sorry. I'm afraid I haven't. That's funny. Uh, I'm on TV a lot. But I suppose you're much too busy to watch TV. I've seen you on the Princess League, by the way. Anyway, I'm producing a special event right here in Sotenbori. The main goal of the event is to provide for the audience an intense, exciting battle between idols, live and in person. We gather nearly 100 idols together in one spot and have them perform, and then the live audience rates them by voting. Hmm, that sounds similar to the Princess League. Yes, but what sets this event apart is that everyone can come to see the whole thing live. Live? Not pre-recorded? That's right. 99 idols battling it out on a Sotenbori stage. The event is called Soten... Sotenbori Battle Royale 99, or SBR 99 for short. SBR 99? Oh, I've heard of that. But I didn't know it was the name of an event. <laughs> Yes, many people are under the mistaken impression that it's the name of a group. Anyway, I'm glad you've heard of it. Idols compete in three categories. A dance battle, a concert battle, and a handshake event. The audience then votes on those performances. And now, to come to the point, do you think you might be interested in competing in SBR 99, Miss Sawamura? Who, me? That's right. I'm sorry to ask you like this on the street after a chance meeting, but I think this must be fate. What do you think? SBR 99 is a high-profile event, and I believe taking part in it would be a good publicity for you. Hmm, well... And not only that, but I also think it would be a chance to grow as well. A chance to grow? That's right. As I mentioned before, SBR 99 takes place before a live audience. In this competition, idols get to experience the pressures of direct audience voting, in addition to a little friendly competition. What better environment to help an idol grow? I'm sure you'll find the experience of battling it out with other idols of your generation in such an exciting event to be truly enriching. Hmm. Does sound like it could be a good experience. Most definitely. So what do you say? Would you like to take part? It's actually going on right now, so you could start immediately. What should I do? If I lose, it could cause problems for my agency. Let me give you some advice. I firmly believe it's better to try something and regret it later than to regret not trying it at all. I would say that all... Of the young ladies taking part in SBR 99 would feel the same way. So how about it? Care to give it a try? Yeah, I mean, talk to the agent. <laughs> but, sure. Alright, thank you very much for asking me. I think I'll give it a try. Wonderful! I'm very glad to hear it. Your agency is dying to chair, isn't it? I'll contact them myself to make the proper arrangements. Now, if you'll come right this way, I'll show you to the event hall. You can get change for the event here. One of the staff will notify you once it's your turn to go on. Okay, thank you very much. You'll begin with a dance battle. After that comes the concert, and then we'll close things off for a handshake event. For both the dance battle and concert event, you'll be facing off against an opponent. And if you're wondering who that opponent will be, that'd be me. Right, Fumoto-san? Haha. <laughs> right you are, Ayumi. Hello, Sawamura-san. I've been watching you on the Princess League. Today is SBR 99. Should we prove? Should prove to be very interesting, don't you think? Please meet Ayumi Demoto. She's one of our most popular participants. Regularly voted number one. I thought she'd be a good matchup for you. Very nice to meet you, Ayumi son. Listen, just because you've gained a little fame on TV, don't think that's going to help you here. SBR99 fans are pretty selective. They aren't swayed by money or connections. The only thing they care about is talent. You're pretty brave to come waltzing in here. I just hope you don't regret it once the votes are counted. Okay. 
Now, Ayumi, please don't be rude. I was the one who had to persuade Sawamura-san to join us here today. That doesn't mean you want me to hold back, does it? No, of course not. As a matter of fact, it would be downright disrespectful to Miss Sawamura. <laughs> well, good. As long as I I know it's alright to do my best, I can relax and focus on my performance. I hope you're on the set, Sawamura-san. I'm sure Ayumi only speaks this way because she's fiercely proud of the accomplishments. Yeah. But that's just the kind of keen competitive spirit that SBR99 breeds. And it's all the better for it, I believe. I'm not upset. I would have expected nothing less. I'm glad to hear you say that. I have a feeling today's competition will be more than exciting than any other, or will be more exciting than any other. Well, we'd better let you get ready. Your turn will be coming up soon. Okay, here we go. Today on SBR99, we have Haruka Sawamura-chan of Princess League fame joining us for the first time, so get ready for an exciting battle. Going up against Haruka is SBR99's own ace, Ayumi Demoto, in an intense head-to-head -head competition. As always, the audience will vote as the idols compete in three categories. A dance battle, a concert event, and a handshake event. Now then, without further ado, it's time for Soten Bori Battle Royale 99. We'll start with a dance battle. Good luck to our competitors. I think I got him better at this. It's not as much of a disaster as it used to be. Almost missed that. She's doing again. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Splendor, just splendor. An incredible battle between two well matched opponents. It appears clear that these girls are vying for the top two spots out of 99. Hey, you did better than I expected. I thought your popularity might have been just a fluke, but now I see you really know your stuff. And I can say, I can see why you're the SBR 99 ace. I'm just getting warmed up. Wait till you see what I do next. The showdown between these two young idols continues. Next up is the concert event. Are you ready? Then without further ado, let's get started. Alright, it's time for the catchy song. Oh crap. Bye. 
I only missed one note so far. Already got S. I missed two nights. And when you do it enough times, you get the hang of it. Such a wonderful performance, I think I nearly forgot to breathe. It's easy to see why Haruka Sawamura is doing so well in the Princess League. What will become of the other SBR and 99 challenges if our new contestant walks away with the top spot on her very first try? It'll be all up to you, the audience, to cast your votes and decide. And what's more, the competition isn't over yet. There's still one more SBR and 99 category to come. It's time now for the handshake event. Let's see how much warmth and enthusiasm our idols greet with their fans with. Being an idol isn't about technical skill after all. Heartfelt appreciation for their fans is every bit as important, if not more so. Now then, on to the handshake event. No, I'm good. I know what it is. Doki doki suru. あいしてるよ。私もです。いい匂いすな。そんなことないですよ。グッズ買ったよ。ありがとうございます。はるかちゃん、マジテンション。そうなんですか。俺何歳に見える?あ、ダブル。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます
we ready to hear the voting results? Coming in second place today is Ayumi Demoto. That means Haruka Saramura is number one. Oh. Oh, I lost. Well, looks like you're the big winner today, Haruka-chan. Go ahead and step forward. Huh? You win, Haruka-chan. Please step forward and say a few words to our lovely audience. Oh, okay. Thank you very much to everyone who voted for me today. And, of course, whether you voted for me or not, thank you very much for participation in, participating in today's Sodenbori Ro Battle Royale 99. This was the first time I ever tried SBR 99, and it was absolutely wonderful. I'm really glad we got to spend this time together. Thank you. I appreciate your joining us today, Sawamura san We certainly had an exciting SBR 99 today, thanks to you. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'd love to ask you to come back again someday, but first I have a proposal for you. A proposal? What is it? Well, this is difficult to ask of you. Would you ever consider leaving Dino Chair? What? I'd like you to join the talent agency I run, you see. Oh. You're asking me to leave Dino Chair? I know it's very forward of me to ask. Please forgive me. That said, yes, I have a plan to someday form a group from all of SBR 99's top performers. That's my ultimate dream, you see. It's why I've been talking to all the winners of SBR 99, just as I'm doing with you right now. What do you say, Salamora san Would you ever consider it? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid not. Dying the chair has made me what I am today. I'm very grateful for them. I was afraid you'd say that. I'd heard that you were discovered by the Dying the chair president, and that you came all the way from Okinawa. With all that in mind, I didn't think it very likely that you would say yes, huh? Still, after seeing your talent, I had to at least make an offer, or an effort to ask. I hope you can forgive me. In that case, maybe we'd better make this your last SBR 99, so I won't be tempted to ask you again. Here is your performance fee. Thanks again for taking part. Too afraid of park. <laughs> yeah. I mean, park would probably go on a rampage and take him out more likely than her. I look forward to seeing what you'll do. I imagine even my all-star group will have a hard time keeping up with you. Sounds like I'd better watch out. Haha, <laughs> indeed. Well then, good luck to you, Sawamura san. I'm glad we had this chance to meet. That was a level up. You can upgrade your abilities. <laughs> um. This beautiful battle dance move will earn you a lot of bonus points by tracing a rainbow through the air with a showy backflip. Oh. Can be learned after Rainbow Prism Star. Oh, we're doing all these side quests. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you interested in broadcasting communications or becoming an announcer? Our school will give you specialized training. We're the Soten Bori Announcer School, and right now we're offering a free introductory class. A free class. That's right, more than 99% of the students... Oh, 90%. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. More than 90% of the students who graduated from our program have landed broadcasting or other voice-related jobs. It's like, wait a minute, more than 99%. We've put together a rich curriculum which trains the broadcasting student in enunciation, intonation, diction, and proper language using usage. Are you interested in becoming an announcer? Call center? You know what? Given the way these games work, this is either for real or it's a scam, and it could be very well that. Our course is perfect for anyone who wants to work in a voice-related field. Voice actors, TV talent, narrators, presenters, etc. 
This would be like a Nathan Fielder, um, bit, you know? There was a thing where he, uh, he created a fake fitness personality, um, who got fit by, uh, lifting furniture. So the whole thing was that he worked with a moving company to get them free labor. So the guys was this dude supposedly got ripped by lifting furniture. So all these people came in to take his instruction and they were just helping someone move a house. <laughs> Pretty good. This could be that. It's just, oh yeah, no, uh, voice training. Here, get on the phone and um, pretend that you have to sell this. Oh, I see. A lot of those skills sound like they might really be helpful in my line of work. Would you at least like to try our introductory class? Completely free. You can even take it right now if you have time. Sure. Alright, I'll give it a try. Wonderful. In that case, come right this way, please. Thank you for coming. The class will begin momentarily. Huh? Am I the only student? Yes, I'm afraid no one else has expressed an interest at the moment, but you're in luck. Now you'll receive all of the teacher's attention. Hello there, sorry to have kept you waiting. I am Saegusa, the headmaster of the school. Well, well, what a pretty young student you have found us, fujimoto san Perfect for a career in broadcasting. Haha, <laughs> yes, forgive me. I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Fujimoto, and you are? Oh, uh, my name is Haruka Sawamura. Oh, what a pleasant voice our young student has. And our curriculum could help you polish and refine your speech quality even better. Now then, Saigusa sensei would you like to start the lesson? Alright. Well, Sawamura-san, it looks like you're the only one here, but let's begin, Hi. shall we? Yes, please. We'll begin with a lesson on proper language usage. As you know, many people are guilty of misusing language in their everyday lives. Of course, this doesn't pose much of a problem when speaking to friends or family, but it won't do for an announcer speaking on national TV. How embarrassing would it be to make a mistake in front of millions? I mean, here we kind of laugh it off. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? That brings us to your first problem to consider. I will give you three sentences. You tell me which of them contains a mistake. So I choose the sentence that is incorrect? Precisely. Here we go. Hmm, which sentence has a mistake in it? He is just as tall as Alyssa and I. Alyssa and me did our homework together. This is as good as it gets for Alyssa and me. Two. Number two, Alyssa and me did our homework together is incorrect. That's correct. Very good, Sawamura san. Well, you're quite good at this, aren't you? I don't think that one was all that difficult. Perhaps, but I believe a lot of people wouldn't have known the, that answer. Indeed, the people who did their homework are the subject of the sentence. So the pronoun should be in subjective form, i.e. I, not me. But you do hear that kind of thing quite a lot, though, don't you? Yes, it's commonly used and readily understood, but still incorrect nonetheless. Let's continue to the next problem, shall we? Now, which one of these three sentences contains a mistake? Oh my god, I literally cried for an hour. I will do it regardless of the cost. If I had known, I would have done it differently. Literally, it's... Yeah. I don't know. Many people use literally incorrectly. However, when something isn't the actual literal truth. For example, I cried my eyes out when of course they really didn't. Oh. If I'd known, I would have done it differently. Well, it should have been... Would have, not... Oh, would of, I see. Would have. I didn't even pick that up. I accidentally took the wrong bus. He made a complete 180 degree turnabout. I love fruit. E.g. bananas and grapes. But are we talking about speaking here or reading? I don't know. It's 1am here, I'm not thinking about English. 
<laughs> accidentally, not accident. I'll oh, spelling. But but see, this is. <sighs> I thought I was on speaking. That's why I wasn't paying attention to spelling. Like this is dumb. <laughs> This is a this is a class on public speaking. If this was a, a class on English, yeah, I would look at spelling and grammar. But this was supposed to be something to help with public speaking. That was a spelling mistake. It's come on. That's enough of a proper language usage. All right, whatever. What do you think so far? Our course is packed full of useful information. Wouldn't you agree? Eh, yes, of course. I sincerely hope you'll enroll and continue studying with us. Now, don't get ahead of yourself, Saigusa sensei Class isn't over yet. Right. Now, through the use of tongue twisters, we'll be practicing... We'll be... We'll practice being able to speak rapidly, yet clearly. An essential skill for any announcer. Tongue twisters. That's right. Clear enunciation. You need to be able to read the notes you're broadcasting. Yeah, but that last one was just an extra letter. It's like, if I saw that with one C and two Cs, I'd still read it ac as accidentally. I wouldn't make a different sound. That's right, clear enunciation and fluency are essential for any voice-related career. Are you ready to start? I'll give you a tongue twister and say it as fast as you can. We'll start with one of the more common ones. Oh, see, this, this is... Yeah. <sighs> but I'm not saying anything, like, this is reading. Very good, say it again. Oh my god, this is dumb. You can't be excited to do everything right. Many say many an anemone sees an enemy anemone. And please note that it is pronounced anemone. Anemone. There's colorful sea creatures with tentacles. Many an anemone sees an enemy anemone. Okay, I'll do my best. I, r I really don't like this side story. <laughs> I'm afraid that's... That, if you're truly interested in the voice radio career, you would need quite a bit of training here at school first. I'm sure you could tell from the introductory class that you have many areas of weakness. But don't worry, Samura-san, we can help you. We'll support you every step of the way as you work toward your dreams. But I... I really don't have the time for that right now. I only took the class because it was free. I know what you're thinking. Your life is so busy already, and you don't have the time. Yes, I'm afraid that's true. I'm sorry, I can't enroll in your school. <laughs> Not to worry, we also have a home study kit for busy students like you. You can train in your spare time at home. This is why you don't take free trials, because it's always a sales pitch. Pardon? The kit includes a textbook on proper language uses and an anthology of 1,000 tongue twisters as well. They can be yours for only 500,000 yen! What? 500,000 yen? At least that's the usual price, but you already have some foundation. We would give you the discounted price of only 490,000 yen. Oh no, Saigusa son, are you sure that's far too much of a discount for these wonderful materials? Yes, well, Miss Sawamura is truly special. She deserves that opportunity. What do you say, Miss Sawamura? Don't let this chance slip away. But I don't have that kind of money. Think of it as an investment in your future. It may seem like a lot of money now, but the return will be well worth it. Both me and Fujimoto-san think that with these materials you will learn the proper use of language and gain confidence in your skill. Me and Fujimoto-san think? I thought you said that's incorrect. Shouldn't it be Fujimoto-san and I think? Oops! Daguso-sensei. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, but I don't have that kind of money. I'm afraid I won't be buying a study kit. But they really are wonderful materials, well worth the price. Do they contain example sentences like me and Fujimoto-san think? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that was just a simple slip for the tongue on my part. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have to be going now. I really did enjoy the lesson, though. Thank you very much for your time. But, yeah. Dan, I really thought we had her.
Oh, yeah, that was... Dude, it's one in the morning. I'm not going to look at spelling mistakes. <laughs> that, that becomes borderline work. Hey, proofread this document for, for me, Sawamura-san. Do you have time to go over these PowerPoint slides, Sawamura-san? Uh, it's Uda-san from the Sodenbori Merchants Association. Hello, Uda-san. What brings you here? Hmm? Oh, Sawamura-san. What a coincidence. Do you think you could spare a minute or two? There's something I'd like to show you. I mean, to show me? What is it? Take a look at this. A photo of me? I saw a junior high school student with her on the street, but I know for a fact this didn't come from Dynacha. Someone is stalking and secretly taking pictures of you. Then selling those photos without permission. Someone's taking pictures of me? Honestly, I had no idea. The work of a paparazzo, no doubt. I suppose that sort of thing happens to many idols, but the Merchants Association can't allow it. It would damage our reputation to have unauthorized photos like this one being sold on the street. I want to get this no good creep out of our town, and I'd like to get your cooperation, Sal Morrison. My cooperation? But what can I do? Well, this paparazzo might be pointing his camera lens at you from the shadows this very moment. That's how close he might be at any given time. So if you ever get the feeling someone's watching you, it might very well be this paparazzo. Please be vigilant at all times, especially on the street. And if you happen to notice this paparazzo, could you please give me a call? I'll drop everything and come running. Well, Dino Chair really should be the one looking into this. But yes, of course, I'll do what I can to help. Wonderful. Just promise you won't try to apprehend them yourself. We don't know what kind of man we're dealing with here. He could be dangerous. All you have to do is call me. I'll take care of the rest. All right. Thank you. Remember, stay vigilant, and take care. Thank you, Sal Morrison. Uh, behind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How do we know that we're being watched? That's where the magazine interview is. Okay, let's go. I guess we find out what was with the weird email, huh? Hello, I'm Haruka Sawamura. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to Riku Travel Publishing. I'm Yara. Oh, are you from Okinawa? Born and raised, haha, you could tell from my name? Yes, now I feel like I'm back home. That's great! <laughs> You'll, it'll make for an excellent interview, don't you think? It certainly will. I hope I don't have to answer questions on Okinawa. I don't remember Yakuza 4. Or 3, sorry. We wanted to make this unique, so we asked Okinawan children to write you letters for the magazine. The response was overwhelming. The greatest volume of mail we've ever received, in fact. You must be quite the celebrity here. Really? That's amazing. Space for the article is limited, so we just picked three letters. Read them. I'll read them to you, and then you can comment. Sounds good? Absolutely. All right. The first letter is from a sixth grader boy named Professor Cosmos. That's a pen name, I suppose. Yes, all three letters are written under pen names. I guess Professor Cosmos is a big fan of outer space, huh? Anyway, here we go. Dear Sawamura-san, I saw you dancing on TV. Wow, you're so cool. I'm not athletic like you. I can't even do one pull-up, and the other kids make fun of me. What should I do? Heh, <laughs> I had the same problem when I was a kid, so... Any advice for Professor Cosmos? Um, prove them wrong? Mm. I tell him, and I'm so sorry the other kids tease him, but why not turn those hurt feelings into inspiration? He said they, he liked my dancing. Well, when I first started, I couldn't dance well at all. It took so much practice. My dance coach would probably say that I'm still not good enough, even now. But the important thing is to learn something new and just feel good about that. So my advice is to keep trying. Very wise. I think Professor Cosmos will be encouraged by that. 
Now, then on to letter number two. This is from I Heart Riona. What is, what does that feel familiar? That's like a reference to one of the side stories. I think it was that that kid that was hopelessly in love. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pen name caught me by surprise too. What a romantic fellow. An Okinawan boy with a crush on a girl named Riona. Could it be Mitsuo? Yeah. And Professor Cosmo said he was in sixth grade. Could that possibly be Shiro? Oh, it's the kids from the orphanage that are actually writing that. Sawamura san. Oh, sorry. Oops. I better focus. Here's what it says Dear Haruka, I've been watching you on TV and rooting for you. But I kind of get jealous of everyone else on TV. They're all so good looking. There's a girl I like, but I don't think she likes me. Do you think it's because I'm not very handsome? He's rooting for you. You must be a big fan. Haha, <laughs> he sounds like a passionate guy. As for his romantic dilemma... Sure. Sure, looks are a big part of what first attracts us to a person. The entertainment industry certainly puts an emphasis on looks, that's for sure. But they aren't the only thing. When a person truly likes someone, it has much more to do with personality, I think. For example, how kind the person is, or how trustworthy. Character can play a bigger role than appearance. Even in the entertainment industry, it counts for something if you're attractive on the inside as well as the outside. What I'm trying to say is, if you really like this girl, show her the quality of your character and see what happens. Good luck. That's very nice. I'm sure your words will mean a lot to I Heart Riona. Now, for the third and final letter, it's from Dragon Mask Man. A boy in the second year of middle school. That's, uh, okay. Uh, is there something wrong? Oh, no. No. That's nothing. I misheard you. I'm sorry. Dragon Mask. That has to be Tai Chi. All three letters, all of these three letters are from Morning Glory for sure. Now I see why Ayako told me to do a good job at this interview. Oh. Now it makes sense. Um, are you ready to continue? Oh, yes. Please, my apologies. How do you do, Sawamura san? I always watch you when you're on TV. You're the main topic of conversation at our house. We used to have people who were like a mother and father to us, but they both left us on long journeys. Both left on long journeys. Oh man, they're talking about Kiryu and her. Now I'm the oldest boy, so I've been trying to be responsible and dependable like they were, but it's not easy. What can I do to become more like them? Wow. He sounds like a very mature and thoughtful young man, wise beyond his years. Any advice for him, Sawamura san? first one. Sounds like you've been doing great. Just keep at it. I'm sure all the younger children look up to you because you already have those virtues you admire in the two people who left. Besides, those two weren't perfect. They made all kinds of mistakes. So don't worry about what you can't do now. You're already helping your family a lot. Wow, so I'm son. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah. No, please don't apologize. I think... I think Dragon Mask Man really needed to hear something like that. We'll print it exactly the way you said it. No edits. Oh, wonderful. Those were some fascinating answers. Thank you for coming. And thank you very much for having me. You gave some fantastic answers. I'm sure the children who wrote these letters will be thrilled. I hope so. Um, would it be possible for me to read the rest of the letters that were sent in? Oh, sure. I actually have them right here. Shall I have them sent to your agency? No, I'd like to take them with me now, if that's all right. Are you sure? That's a lot of heavy paper to carry around. It's okay. I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> you got it, then. Here's the compensation for your time. I thought that was going to be here are the letters, and it's just like a hand. We have to have you back soon. I like that very much. Wow, lots of letters in these bags. And be sure to read and answer every last one of them. Those pen names are so silly. 
Did they really think I wouldn't figure out their true identities? Haha, <laughs> they remind me of someone else I know. They couldn't talk to me directly, so they wrote letters. <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, this apparently. Hey, hey, you! Hold it right there. Hmm, me? Yeah, you. Who, who, who do you think? You're Haruka Samura, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Um, do I know you? What? You're trying to be a top idol, and you don't even know who I am. I am Ulala, the daughter of the legendary beauty from the neighboring town. Um, so your mother is a legendary beauty? My mother is, and I am too. They always told me I'd be beautiful when I grew up, and as you can plainly see, I am. But if you think you can be an idol around here and not know who I am, you've got another thing coming. We idols are very particular, you know? I'm very sorry, I still have a lot to learn. Exactly. And don't you think... You've been letting your success go to your head lately? You're not even that cute. But suddenly you got a few fans and now you're full of yourself. Shows like you make me absolutely sick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come across that way. I've seen you with that snooty smug look on your face. Twisting and gyrating all over the stage. Doing those dance battles or whatever you call them. Huh. You should be downright embarrassed if you ask me. A potato would make a better dancer than you. Um, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I'm sorry if I did something to upset you. <laughs> Truly, I am. Ha! One itty bitty apology isn't gonna cut it, sister. I came all this way to Sotenbori, only to find everybody making a bit fuss over a little nothing like you. What a joke! What do you call those thingies again? Dance battles? Okay then. Let's see you do one right now. I, the great Ulala, will be your opponent. What? You want to have a dance battle with me? That's right. What? Is there something wrong with your hearing too? Ooh, you make me so mad. <laughs> but that's all right. You'll get yours when I completely annihilate you in front of everyone. Unless you're too scared to take me on, that is. I mean, who could blame you for thinking you're no match for the great Ulala? Yeah, take her on. Hi. All right, you're on. Great. Just try not to cry when I beat you. She's so rude. Haruka's being so nice. Oh my god, the bomb is already like... Like I'm missing on purpose here and I'm... Okay, it's a joke battle. I just one shot her. I lost? After the performance I just gave? How could I have lost? Gah! How could a little stick like you possibly beat me? It doesn't make sense. I work so hard on my wardrobe and my diet so I can become a top idol. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Um, no, but now I'm hungry. And it's all your fault. I'm gonna go get some takoyaki. You right right here. What is this quest? Hmm. That was good. I had three helpings because of you. Thanks for that. Three helpings? But I thought you were trying to diet. Shut up! Who asked you? What I really wanted to have was cake, but I stopped myself. But what would you know? You could never understand. Oh. Oh no. What time is it? The t-shirt sale at the supermarket is just about to end. They're on sale for only 500 yen each. If I miss that sale, it'll be all your fault. Wait a minute. When you said you've been working hard on your wardrobe, did you mean bargain t-shirts? When there's a supermarket sale, you have to go in prepared for battle. They're serious business. That may be true, but a bargain t-shirt isn't really what most people would call fashionable, don't you think? 
You've got something to say about everything, don't you, little stick girl? I'll get my revenge on you. Just you wait. You better enjoy life while you still can. The fuck is her problem? Wow. Lala sure is something. It's like, okay. Just, just for existing. It was great, but, um, the fuck's going on here? <laughs> it's like, just, these NPCs all trying to walk. They'll figure it out. Oh no, my immersion. They're broken. Wait, is this the battle that I have to do? Akihiko, are you really serious? You're really gonna quit comedy? Haru, I'm telling you, my mind's made up, and you can't sway me. But how can you give up on our dream like that? We've been a duo for four years now. Are these the, Yok what are the something silvers? Yokomishi silvers? I forgot what their names are. Yeah. It's not like I want to throw it all away, but don't think about it. Do you really think we got a shot at making it all the way? Yeah, I do. I believe in us. We're going to make it real big someday. That's why we've been working hard these past four years, isn't it? Well, great for you. I don't believe in it anymore. We haven't had a glimmer of hope in four years. We did hundreds of auditions, but we didn't get called back for a single one. Okay, yeah, that might be true. But if you work on being a better straight man, I can work on being a better funny man. But that's what we've been doing for four years, and it hasn't happened yet. We ain't getting younger, you know. But do you have to quit right now? We have an audition in a couple of minutes. Why can't you wait to see how that goes first? We've got some really great material this time. All you gotta do is come back with some great retorts. My mom fouled me a lead on a good job. Sorry, man, but I'm on my way to the interview right now. If I'm gonna quit comedy, now's the time to do it. I don't want my mom worrying about me anymore, you know? Goodbye, Haruo. Oh man, what am I supposed to do without a partner? Excuse me, is something wrong? See, I'm part of a comedy duo, but my partner just quit on me. We have an audition that's about to start and everything. Man, I don't know what to do. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're that idol Haruka Saramura. Um, well, yes I am. Wow, I can't believe I'm seeing the real you in person. I've been a fan of yours since I saw you on TV. Thank you very much. And you're funny, too. You did a great job with the back and forth when you were on that talk show. Had some real knee slappers. You really think so? I was just trying to speak about what I thought the viewers would like to hear, and it just happened to go well. But it ain't that easy. You've got something real special. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting an idea here. Hmm? What is it? That's it! Haruka, have you ever thought about doing comedy? Comedy? Me? You see anyone else here? I'm telling you, you'd be real good. This audition coming up means the world to me. I lost a lot of sleep coming up with this material. And I've got some really good stuff, don't you know? I couldn't stand it if I had to forfeit the audition because my partner quit. I need a favor. Could you be my partner? Pretty please, pretty please. What? But I don't have any experience. Don't worry about that. You've already been on TV loads of times. That ought to help you out. It'll be fine. Besides... It'll be good for your career to polish up your comedy skills. It could really come in handy for your work. Just think of successful idols. They're not only attractive and good at singing, but they're all extra charming, right? Hmm. I guess you're right. 
but I can't be funny. I don't know any good jokes or anything. Don't worry about a thing. I already thought up all the material. All you have to do is have some good comebacks ready when I say something silly or stupid. I think you'd be great at it. I bet you could hit me with all kinds of great retorts. What do you say? Haruka, will you be my straight man to the my fool? The sun to my shine, the taco to my yucky. Hmm. Might be a good idea to learn some comedy. Could I do it? Do it. Alright, I'll give it a try. You will? Alright. Thank you. I have a feeling this is going to be great. In that case, we better come up with a name. A name for a comedy duo. That's right. I can actually think of a few right off the bat. See which one you like. Haru and Haru, the laugh maker. The, the Mola Mola? Haru and Haru is fine. I like the Haru and Haru. Yeah, your name starts with Haru. My name starts with Haru. Dang perfect name for the perfect team. Great. Now that we have an all-star name, I'm sure we're going to be a hit. Well, I hate to rush you, but you ready to go on now? The audition is about to start. You mean right now, but I'm not ready. Hey, a good comedian's got to go with the flow. Learn to handle whatever comes her way. It's important to know how to wing it. You have to be able to take sudden pressure like this in stride. I see. What's well, a little audition? No big deal, right? You can do this. Now, how about we get to the event hall? You're right. I can do this. They're holding the comedy audition here. Today's the first round. Those who pass all three rounds get a spot on the comedy show. I see. But I'm only helping out for today, aren't I? What will you do for the second round and onward? Well, I'll worry about that when I come to it. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Wah! Ah, uh, okay then. Our turn is coming up soon, isn't it? I'm feeling a little nervous. Just be yourself. You're going to do fine, Haruka-chan. How about we rehearse a little? I'll bring up a topic and you interject with something that fits. What do you mean, interject? You know, keep the conversation flowing by saying stuff like, Is that so? Your interjections set the pace of the conversation. That sounds tricky. No need to overthink it. It's just like a normal co normal conversation, you see. And when I say something silly, you hammer it home with some kind of clever retort. Like, what the hell are you thinking? That's not really clever, but sure. I see. You got natural talent, so I know you'll come up with the wittiest comebacks. Just pick the one you think works best and you'll be split in sides like a comedy lumberjack. I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. If all goes well, we'll get the crowd and the judges on our side. That's how we're going to pass. Got it. Oh, this is actually a mini game, okay. Hold up. そうなんですわ。寂しい青春過ごしてますな。それに比べて僕はすごいね。ほんまですの?僕ね、昔は悪でしてね。ちょい悪ってやつです。なるほど。ええ。高校の頃とかみんなそういうのに憧れるやないです
Cheer up. Well, you can keep trying for this audition as many times as you want. No point in dwelling on the past. Let's get our act together and give it another shot. Okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be here a while. Yeah, sure. はるかちゃんって彼氏おらへんの。ほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほんまですのほ
ちょい悪ってやつですわもうええわねえ高校の頃とかみんなそういうのに憧れるやないですかせやから僕も結構モテてたんですもうええわねえ学校の校門とかで「あ今帰り?」なんて偶然よそって寄ってくるんですよ一緒に行こうそらすごいなおっまんざらやないから「おおお」とか言ってついてってええやんそのまま校舎裏でボコボコですわヤンキーやないかそれだけやあらへん朝学校行ってな下駄箱こう開けるやろなるほどバッサーって出てくるねもう読み切れへんくらいのラブレほうほう大体の内容は同じやねもしよかったら付き合ってくださいおお来たでこれしないでこれは来たで他にもあんねん初めて見た時からあなたのことばかり考えてますこれは来たであなたの声あなたの瞳あなたの唇すべて好きついに来たんちゃうこれ俺と付き合ってください俺って男やんさすがにその人とは1年で別れましたけどね付き合ったんかいそんなこんなで僕今まで彼女できたことないんですもうええわどうもありがとうございましたうんかいうっすっすっすっすっすマビアネーワイフォームトフィニッシュトーキング。あらかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまかまそうなんですわほら寂しい青春過ごしてますなそれに比べて僕はすごいねほんまですの僕ね昔は悪でしてねちょい悪ってやつですわなるほどねえ高校の頃とかみんなそういうのに憧れるやないですかせやから僕も結構モテてたんですわもうええわねえ学校の校門とかであ今帰りなんて偶然よそって寄ってくるんですよ一緒に行こうなんて言うてそらすごいな僕もまんざらやないからおおとか言ってついてってなええー、やんそのまま校舎裏でボコボコですわヤンキーやないかそれだけや<笑>朝学校行ってな下駄箱こう開けるやろなるほどバッサーって出てくるねもう読み切れへんくらいのラブレターやほうほう大体の内容は同じやねもしよかったら付き合ってくださいおお来たでこれしないでヤンキーやないか。他にもあんねん。初めて見た時からあなたのことばかり考えてます。これは来たで。あなたの声、あなたの瞳、あなたの唇、すべて好きです。ついに来たんちゃうこれ。俺と付き合ってください。俺って男やん。さすがにその人とは1年で別れましたけどね。付き合ったんかい。そんなこんなで僕今まで彼女できたことないんですわ。もうええわ。どうもありがとうございました。It's so good enough. Don't get out of its minigame blocks. It's 70. Look, do you have to land it in the middle? But, see, he explains it, but just says come up with a good retort, but it, the timing is not explained. Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. Yakuza 5 comedy duo game. How, how the hell do you do it? <laughs> Why is the comedy duo sub story so unbelievably difficult? I mean, how the hell are you supposed to get this on your first try? I've tried it so many times, and I'm a fast reader. Oh. Okay. Let's, did, someone has a good tip. I'm gonna suck that. Okay. But the problem is it's the timing. 
I'm gonna chase it. You don't have a boyfriend, do you? I was fighting them off left and right. Ain't that kind of sad at your age? Back in my heyday, I was fighting them off for it left and right. You know, I used to be quite the bad boy, badass on the block. Okay. Everyone wanted to be with the coolest, toughest dude back in high school. That's why they all flock straight to me. Don't say. After school, they pretend to run into me at the gate and be like, hey, I want to hang out. I just couldn't turn him down, so off we went. Nice. Then we'd head behind the school and a bunch of guys beat me up. That's called getting jumped. Okay. Wait, there's more. Every morning when I went to open my long car. Uh -huh. I'd swing it open and bam, a bunch of love letters would come flooding out. Wow. All of them said pretty much the same thing. Please, I want to, you to be my... Move to my seat. Sparring partner. More like punching bag. Okay. There were others. One said, from the moment I laid my eyes on you, you're all I can think about. Here we go again. I love everything about you. That sultry voice, those devilish eyes, those moist lips. And he ended it with, please go out with me. But after all that, we only lasted a year. You still went out with him? Long story short, I've never had a girlfriend. I'm not surprised. Alright, this minigame is so stupidly hard. No joke, you're supposed to read it that quickly. I think this is something where reading the Japanese would be very easy to do, but just when it's English, it's... Particularly that one where it's just like two seconds to pick a line. Amazing, we did it. My heart was racing. I'm so glad it went well. I knew you were the real deal. Your timing's great, Haruka-chan. Thank you. Now we pass the first round. Time to head back for a rest. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, Haruka. You really saved my bacon. Glad I could help. But that was just round one of the audition, right? Aren't there more after this? Yeah, that's the truth, but I don't want to bother you, none. I'll just find a new partner to do the rest of the audition with, I guess. I see. Well, hope you find someone. It would be a shame to fail after coming this far. Haruka-chan, I know I'm usually the fool, but I gotta be straight with you for once. I wish you and I could keep doing going together for a little longer. You do? I mean, yeah. We were pretty good together up there, don't you think? I bet we could get pretty far, you and me. Think you could stick around a little longer? Hmm, I don't know. Well, it's no skin off my back if you can't. I understand, but if you ever get the urge to do some comedy, I'm always down to split sides and slap knees. I hang around this area a lot. You ought to be able to find me if you go looking. Don't get, let all the glitz and starlight up on that aisle stage blind you. You've always got a place here. All right, Haru. Thank you. I won't forget. I'll be back if I ever change my mind. You will? That's great. Thanks, Haruka. Oh, and by the way, this is the prize for passing the first round of the audition. I want you to have it. Well, see you around, Haruka-chan. I'll be waiting right here till the day you change your mind.
I can't remember if she met them, because it was a side quest that Kiryu did, but I don't remember if she was tagging along for it. She might have been little. Sure. Well, it's not here right now. There's still a lot to do. Are we going to cook? Hold on, I was just finishing my drink. Okay. Huh? Uh, miss, excuse me. Hmm? Aren't you Haruka-chan, that big idol from TV? I'd recognize that face anyway. Hmm, that's right. I'm Haruka Sawamura. Thank you so much for watching. Well, would you look at that? A famous style like you just strolling down the street. Hey, I know. Why not try some of my takiyaki before you go? Me? But... <laughs> don't worry, it's on the house. As you can see, it's not exactly busy here. In a bit of a slump, you might say. I just can't understand it, because my takiyaki is really good. Care to give it a try? Sure. Alright, I'll try some. There's a good girl. Here you go. Real maga magu taco takoyaki. Nothing more Osaka than this. Thank you very much. Phew, it's hot. So what do you think? Good, right? Hmm. Yeah, it really is. It's delicious. See? what I tell ya, best in the city. If I do say so myself, I just can't figure out why people ain't lining up to come get it. Maybe I gotta advertise more, or spruce up my stand or something? I tell you, I'm stumped. If only people would try a bite, they'd be hooked, I'm sure. You think so? Well, that's awfully kind of you to say. Thank you, Haruka-chan. Hey, if you ever get a chance, maybe you can talk this place up on TV? Oh, I don't know. I don't get many chances to say whatever I want on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, I'm just pulling your leg. You're an idol, after all. It's not like you're a comedian or anything. I'm sorry. Hey, I know. Want to be my manager for a day? If you do that for me, I can tell you how much... I can't tell you how much I'd appreciate it. Manager for a day? What would you have me do? Hmm, don't know. Just stand in front of the shop, maybe? That ought to do the trick. But would that really draw in customers, do you think? Wouldn't it? I know it'd get me to stop by. Well then, how about a handshake event? I can shake hands with whomever buys your takiyaki. Hmm. You'd really do that for me? Of course. Oh, but wait. I'd better check with my agency to make sure it's alright. I don't think they'll have any objections, though. That'd be fantastic. They said yes. They thought it'd be a great idea to help a local business out. They did? Wonderful. I'll start getting ready right away. And I'll change into my work outfit. All right, folks, today we have a very special guest here at Magutaka, singer Haruka Sawamara-chan. She's agreed to be my manager for a day. Try our special bargain, a sample of three pack of takiyaki, only 100 yen. Each lucky person who buys takiyaki today will receive a warm handshake from our special manager. Step on up and try this takiyaki, everyone. It's absolutely delicious. I'll take it back. Hey! You're Haruka-chan from the Princess League. I want to shake your hand. Nami, can I shake Haruka-chan's hand too? I'll take some takiyaki. What do you say, Haruka-chan? How about some nice warm handshakes for our wonderful new customers? Of course. It's good that knows the default option now. I was gonna say, wait, where's the security guy? Oh, I can't really stretch it with these. Where's the super fan? ありがとうございます。
ありがとうございます<笑>かわいいんだろうな<笑><笑>いつも一生懸命だねありがとうございます<笑>ありがとうございます<笑> The stretching of the hands pretty funny 沢村はるかです生き生きとしてるねありがとうございます All right, we got it ありがとうございます楽しみだな<笑>よろしくお願いしますはい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Why、well, are you sure? Thank you very much. It's me who should be thanking you. You really gave Magutako a boost today. I hope you'll be back. Getting there. Pardon me, miss. May I ask you a question? Me? Would you, by any chance, consider yourself a gamer? A gamer? You know, a, a gamer, a person who likes video games. Sure.、Mm. Yes, I suppose I do like video games. I knew it! In that case, could you spare a moment of your time? It's right this way. What do you want me to do? Oh, my apologies. I should have been more clear. It's nothing weird, I can assure you. If you could just spare a minute, you'll be back in no time. <laughs> This guy. Doctor, I brought a girl gamer. I'm sorry it took so long. Ah, at long last, now we can finally begin the experiment. Um, experiment? What kind of experiment? Hey, I'm Dr. Minamita, and this device is the new version of my fighting simulator. Inner Fighter 8, Road Battle. Inner Fighter? We call it IF8 for short. IF8 is a revolutionary gaming device of my own invention. It utilizes special electromagnetic waves to allow the player to play inside their own head. We'd like you to test it out. I'm afraid I still don't really understand. <laughs> I'm not surprised, my dear. IF8 is still in development, you see. Though. I am indeed its creator. There's still a lot about it. I don't quite understand myself. Thus, we need to test it. And this particular IF8 is a female version. I modified it to be specifically suited to female gamers like you. My assistant here was so proud of this modification that I rushed to Osaka to see it. But apparently, it's only suited to female players. And here you are at last. I'd be the very first one to use it. Precisely. But there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of, my dear. I'm sure you will enjoy it immensely. In this game, you'll become a magical heroine and combat fearsome enemies deep in your mind. Haven't you always dreamed of doing something like that? I suppose when I was younger. Well, this game makes that dream a reality, but instead of trying to explain, perhaps you should just. I should just let you try it for yourself. Are you ready? Oh, just a minute, Doctor. Before she tests it, she'll need to sign that agreement we talked about. Agreement? We must maintain absolute secrecy around the IF8 project while it's being developed. We therefore need you to sign a non disclosure agreement. A non disclosure agreement? Well,、um, I don't know about signing something so suddenly like that. Your cooperation would be most appreciated. It isn't as easy to acquire a female game tester as one might think. Won't you please consider helping us? The chance to become the magical heroine of your dreams is just a sign away. Yes, do, do us a favor. Alright, where do I sign? Oh, thank you. Wonderful, my dear. My assistant here will prepare the document for you. Meanwhile, I'll be getting the device ready. Now, before you begin, allow me to begin. Allow me to explain the particulars. 
IF8 has players move along a city tree and vanquish enemies using their magical powers. A powerful boss awaits at the end. Defeat this boss and you'll receive a boost to your abilities. Not those of the player character, but your own. You mean my own personal abilities will increase if I win the game? Precisely. But I'm afraid we're still in the process of gathering data, so only one city is available for play at the moment. You'll be able to play other cities once we've collected enough data, but unfortunately you'll have to wait a while for that. Ordinarily, one play costs 10,000 yen, but for this time only, we'll let you test it free of charge. Well, that about covers it. You can try it out right away, or if you prefer, you can explain again. Alright, let's go. Ah. Without further delay, let's begin. <laughs> so weird. What? Oh, she's got a she's got a wand. Okay, it's pretty much identical to the one we did before. It's almost. It reminds me of the wand and smash. Even the sound effects. Like, I don't know. It's very Kirby like. That's all I'm thinking of. Yeah, like that. That sounds very Kirby like. I wish you could just hold it in for longer. Is it boss time? Yeah. Oh, it's... I think this is cloning one of the, the T-girls. Looks like you cleared it. Congratulations. You should now experience a boost to your own abilities. <laughs> You've given us some great data. You're welcome to come back anytime. We'll be waiting here for you. Thank you for your help. We hope to see you again. I love how I thought this was just going to be story progression all the way, but... Hmm? I'm getting the funny feeling I'm being watched. The paparazzo must be nearby. But one step and he'll realize you're onto him and run away. Without moving on the spot, press R3 to switch the first, first person view. Gee, I wonder where he is. There! That must be him. Bit of cult leader, son. Hello. Eater here. Is that so you, Sawamura, son? Yes, I found the paparazzo. He's wearing a fishing vest. Great work. And what is he doing? Oh, no. He just took off. It looks like he's heading towards West Sh Show Fukucho. All right. I'm on the way. Don't let him out of your sight. All right. I won't. The paparazzo headed to West Show Fukucho. Better get after him before he gets away. A 
have to find him again. Did I lose him? Where is he? I have to find him. Dude! <laughs> there he is. That's the paparazzo. Uh-oh. He took off again. Better tell Uda san. Uda here. Sawamura san. Yes. The paparazzo is running away. He's heading towards West Sodenbori Street. Where are you now, Uda san? I'm almost to Shofukucho. Please keep him in your sights just a little bit longer. All right. I'll do my best. The paparazzo headed toward West Sodenbori Street. I can't let him get away. At least, I mean, he was still hiding in plain sight. Did I lose him again? Where is he? I'll, ugh, I pressed the wrong analog stick. Hang on, what? How do I do this again? Okay. Jeez. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Where's the paparazzo? What a son. Sorry, I lost sight of him. That's too bad. That means he's onto us. If that's the case, the paparazzo will go for another target. Looks like we've lost our trail. Oh no, really? I'm so sorry I lost him. No, please don't worry about it. There's nothing that could be done. We'll take care of it from you. Now, I must be on my way. I guess this is a failed quest now. Yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. Although it's still got the... Hmm. Hold on. Hey, you're Haruka-chan, aren't you? Hmm? It is you. I knew it. I'm a big fan of yours. I always watch you on TV. I can't believe I'm seeing you out and about like this. Haruka-chan from the Princess League? No way! You gotta be kidding me! Haruka-chan is here? Hey! They're saying Haruka-chan is over here! You get your eyes checked anytime recently? She's right there! Hello! Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Haruka-chan, me and my big mouth. Look at all these people. No, no, it's alright. Really? You mean it? In that case, could I have your autograph? Hey, I want an autograph too! Haruka-chan, me too! Can I have your autograph too, Haruka-chan? Okay, everybody, just calm down. Don't mob the poor girl. What are you talking about? You're the bulb who came up with the bright idea. You'll be a good girl and give us your autograph now, won't you? Of course. I'd be happy to give everyone my autograph. Great! Okay, everyone, listen up. Please form an orderly line. We don't want to block traffic. Here, wait your turn, and they're pushing. Who died and made you king? Okay, Haruka-chan, we're all ready for you. All right, thank you. Impromptu hand holding event? No. Hey, me first. Ah, wait till the boys see this. Who shall I make this out to? Can you do Yasu Hiro Yamasaki? All right, let's see. Here you are. Did I do it right? Yep. You got it. Hey, thanks. The boys are gonna be jealous. Yes, are very welcome. I'm next, dearie. Who should I make it out to? 
And could add to Misaki Takahashi. Great name, huh? Good thing I live up to it. All right, let's see. Here you go. Yeah, that's exactly it. Thank you, Haruka. I'll be rooting for you, girl. Thank you very much. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm going to get your autograph. I'm a huge fan. And who am I making this out to? Toshikazu Sekiguchi. Yeah. Yes, that's right. This is beautiful. I'll treasure it forever. My turn. My whole family watches you on TV, you know. Thank you very much. Who am I making this out to? All right. Make it out to Hideaki Ishikawa. That's right, just like the famous action star. My favorite of his is that one where he lays down the smackdown on the, all those street thugs. Man, I wish I was as cool as him. There's someone else behind. Oh, the kid. My turn. I saw you on TV. You did? Thanks for watching. What's your name? It's Akihara Fukushima. Wow, that's a pretty complex name. Think so? Really don't know how, you really know how to spell that? Yep. It's my own name, isn't it? Does that make sense? All right. Here you are. Yeah, that's perfect. Was it hard to spell your name when you were first learning to write? Nah, it was easy. What kind of dummy would I be if I couldn't write my own name? Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, people, you all got your autographs. This session is now officially over. Like I said before, who made you king? Thank you very much for your time, Haruka-chan. Thank you all very much. I hope you'll continue to support me. Of course we will. Good luck, Haruka-chan. You're the best. I'll be watching you on TV. We all wanted to thank you, so we pitched in and got you this. We're sorry for swarming you earlier. Thank you very much. Better split up before anyone else shows. All right, people, let's give Haruka-chan a big round of applause. You want the whole town to come running over? Might as well turn on the bullhorn. Or get on the bullhorn. All right, sorry. Okay. Save screen every time. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I just looked at the time. It's pretty late. But, yeah. Progressing through her chapter. I imagine there's not a whole lot left to do with it. It's just a contest. But it's interesting. It's a nice break from getting harassed like every 30 seconds when you're walking around in town. Anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, just click that like button. It helps a lot. Do appreciate those that do do that. It really means a lot. Or you can also watch me play something else by clicking on the videos that may have popped up on your screen by now. So, hope you check it out. But yeah. Till next time. Bye, YouTube.